Peace of the Lord be with you. Good morning. This is our devotion for Wednesday, May 31st. And um, my apologies, I realized I, I, I cut off yesterday's uh, after after the Lord's Prayer. It was it was close to done anyway. We had the, the additional prayer and the, and the, the uh, what we call the Benedictamus, the blessing of the Lord. But uh, So my apologies for that. But, uh, but in any case, here, here we are this morning. And our Old Testament lesson for this week is Genesis 1-1 through Genesis 2-4-A. And um, that's a quite, quite a long reading, so I'm going to jump into it. Uh, we'll follow the morning order, page 295 in the hymnal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All right, Genesis 1, 1 through 2, 4, A. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. And God said, Let there be an expanse in the, expanse in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. And God made the expanse, and separated the waters that were under the expanse from the waters that were above the expanse. And it was so. And God called the expanse heaven. And there was evening, and there was morning the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas, and God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth sprout vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees bearing fruit, in which is their seed, each according to its kind, on the earth. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed according to their own kinds, and trees bearing fruit in which is their seed, each according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and, and years, and let them be lights in the ex expanse of the heavens to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. And God set them in the expanse of the heavens to give light on the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters swarm with swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the heavens. So God created the great sea creatures, and every living creature that moves with which the waters swarm, according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures according to their kinds, livestock and creeping things, and beasts of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to their kinds, and the livestock according to their kinds, and everything that creeps on the ground according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God said, behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of all the earth and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food, and to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the heavens, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. And God saw everything he had made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens of the earth were finished, the heavens and the earth, excuse me, were finished, and all, all the host of them. And on the seventh day God finished his work that he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done. And so God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it God rested from all his work that he had done in all creation. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. Amen. Let us pray. 
Blessed God, our Heavenly Father, you have made all things, and we give you thanks for the goodness of your creation. We give you thanks for uh, the, the joys that you bring us through through your creation. And we pray that as you have created us in, in, in your love, that um, you would bless us to, to know of that love in all things, all, most of all as you have sent your Son to redeem us as we have rebelled and fallen into sin and, and, um, and out of that love. And we pray that um, you would bless us with the, the gift of your Holy Spirit who, who reveals your Son to us, that we would know you in all things. And as we study your word, we pray that you would bless us with the joy of, uh, of knowing you and uh, knowing you as you have revealed yourself to us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Um, okay, so... Why do we have this whole passage of, of creation when we are looking at the, the, the Trinity, right? When we, when we have the, the, the Feast of Holy Trinity this Sunday. So, um, I, I think on the one hand, you could say, well, it's because it all originates in creation and that sort of thing. And there's something to that. And maybe we'll talk a little bit about that creation here. Um, excuse me. But primarily, I want to focus on why I think it is that we have it, uh, and, and it's it's two spots. It's the first three verses, um, and, and, and then it's verse uh, 26. So, let's take a look at those closely. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was hovering over, the, excuse me, darkness was over the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, and I'm going to leave it at that, right? Um, I mean, we know he said, let there be light, but I'm going to leave it in God said. So, these are the first three verses of the Bible. And in these three verses, you have the Holy Trinity. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So let's connect that to the Father. And in fact, I think you see, the, see that in Luther, right? Uh, uh, the, the Creed, what's the first article of the Creed? It's creation. The second article, redemption. And the third article, uh, uh, sanctification, right? So, um, if it's creation, the Father here, the earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters, right? So there, now you have the Spirit. You have Father and Spirit. And then, like I said, and then you have, and God said. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John 1, 1, right? So, so, of course this makes sense. You've got the, 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 the foundation of all divinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You have the foundation of creation. It makes sense to have this, this lesson then with, with, the, um, with, with, with the, 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 the observance of, of, of God as the triune God. So, there's that. Verse 26. Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Um, let us make man. Now, it's interesting because you have, well, you, here, uh, we'll, we'll just focus on this for now. Let us make, um, the note here says, while affirming the singularity of God, it's not unusual for the Old Testament to use the plural when speaking of God and his activ activities. This anticipates the doctrine of the Holy Spirit, or excuse me, the Holy Trinity. Um, although it notes, some interpreters un this, understand this to be grammatic, grammatical device, plural of majesty, or honorific plural, um, but but I think it's it's one of those things where, yeah, I think it's God saying, I'm one God in three persons. Um, in, interestingly enough, kind of along that line, the name, so, so we, I mentioned the divine name, the Yahweh, right? I mentioned that yesterday. Uh, the, the Hebrew word for God, God, as, as we address him as God, uh, not, not as, as Yahweh or the Lord, um, that is Elohim, which, which is actually, it's like a singular and a plural together. And, and um, im is a, is, a, is a plural ending. Um, and uh, Eli, or Eli, or uh, I can't remember, should know off the top of my head. Eli is my God, right? So uh, God is, is El, oh, yeah, it would be El, right? Um, God is El, and then um, Elohim is, is like this this plural-ish 
form, but then it always pairs with, with singular verbs, right? So in God said, and Elohim said, uh, the, the multiplicity of God in one said, let us make man in our image, right? So you, the, the, the point being in all this, so we have this because this re reveals the Trinity to us. And that's important to see God in the very beginning as understood as being triune. So, and that triune God being the God who has created us, the God who has redeemed us, and the God who has sanctified us. Amen. Uh, like I said we might get to, to some of the creation. Uh, unfortunately, I don't want to go, go go much longer, so we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up there, and we'll continue with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.